different color pack in here um if you've seen my video before with the aks gone rihanna it's pretty much the same thing i did as far as the weave i used the 27 piece short hair around even on this side and this time i just added orange and red so basically what i'm gonna take you guys through today is the actual puzzle cut that's the only reason why i I have orange and red hair, but um, I'm going to take you through the puzzle cut and the actual cutting process. Alright, the first thing I had to do was section all this hair off, and I'm going to do it these two sides of the rear. Um, normally, the rear is the hardest part for me because you can't see it. But um, what I'm going to do now is first things first, cut this. But I'm not going to cut it with my scissors. I have learned that cutting with my scissors is one of the points that makes the hair look really, really bulky. So I'm going to try to shave it down. And I finally got one gate. So I'm gonna take a mass amount off. I was kind of hoping this one has a comb on here, but um, I want to take a large. Wait, yeah, I want to take a large amount off. And if you can see that it's gonna thin it out. Well, actually, I'm gonna go through my scissors first because I have a lot, lot more to thin out. But what I'm gonna do is cut it at an angle, so it won't be so bad. But um, I got a lot of it off. The reason I cut it at an angle because I still want it to be kind of shabby, not so so straight cut. And what I'm trying to do is making sure that I'm keeping all the hair that belongs on that side on that side. So, this is a mess in here. Take my razor, and what I'm going to do is basically thin this whole side out. Because if you haven't seen any bleached hair, all this is really, really flat, really, really close to right It's just a little sideburn. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a sideburn. I'm not really a sideburn person. But we'll see. And if you can see how, if you can see that, it takes a lot off. This one's way, way, way better than my other one. So here I am going through, thinning it down, getting all the excess bulk out of here. The reason why I thin it down before I go and actually do my outlines because I want to make sure I'm working with the least amount of hair possible. Because if you know anything about 27 pieces, it can get a little thick. I don't know I'm making a lot of faces, but I'm going to work on that for next time. And I'm always picking it up to make sure and see if I can cut any more off. Just one thing I did earlier. I want this side very, very low. I'm going to keep going back to my mirror, making sure everything looks very low. Kind of shaved, but not shaved. You know what I'm saying? But again, taking them off. And once you start to shave point, your ear starts to feel better because, well, I like to put hair by my ear. A good amount of hair by my ear. I don't know why, but just how I like to do my needs. A lot of people try to start like way above the ear, but I like that hair right here. Especially when it's short. And what I'm going to do is just continue to keep cutting hair closer and closer to my head. What I'm going to do is come back when I'm ready for the other side. Okay, I'm about to go under the dryer head to do a real quick cleanup because it was looking a hot ghetto mess in here. Um, so basically before I go under the dryer, what I'm going to do is make sure all the hair is to the side it's going to be on it's laying the way in which I want it um, one thing I did on the other video that I probably will not be doing on this one is putting so much loose because last time I was just like oh my head just dead so I may or may not even put loose on the long part I'm not sure yet, but I will see. As of right now, what I'm going to do is take my shine and I'm going to take it up first. Man. Put some in my hand and put start on my short side first. And mold everything down. Or everything I want to be molded down, right? Oops. 
Give him a little slapper. Mow everything down. And might as well do it on this side too, but maybe. I don't use hairspray, so I'll have to use the curlers to give it a little actual volume. Because for some reason, I just. Only hairspray I do use is. Um, washing. Other than that, I'm not a fan, personally. But if my client wants to use hairspray, you're more than welcome. But I just personally don't like it. But okay. And once again, what you're going to do is make sure you have everything going to the, its according side. All the short hair with the short hair. What am I trying to do with this? I don't know yet. But okay, all the long hair with the long hair. Basically, combing it all down to make it all smooth. All the short hair, well not the short hair, all the long hair with the long hair. What I'm going to do after this dries is take a little bit more bulk out of this area. But for right now it's fine because I'm going to try. What I'm going to do next What I'm going to do next is, see what I'm saying? Make sure all that hair goes to its side. Um, what I'm going to do next is take my brackets and wrap around them so I can keep the hair lying down. It's going to be hard trying to put hair together. So, and then I'm just going to, I'm probably going to use two of these. And there you have it. I don't like putting stuff on my head really, really tight or my client's head because I don't want their head to hurt. Because every single thing makes my head hurt, so. Thank you.